It's gonna mean so much to them upstairs. They spend so many days here in the NICU just to have a day where they can forget about their troubles and enjoy somebody who everybody knows. To come and visit them is just gonna bring such joy. Isaiah, nice to meet you. Good, how you guys doing? So my experience today has been nothing but good. I mean, I got to see some strong families. I got to see some premature babies that I, in my life, never seen before. And it was like a wholesome day for me. I got to put a lot of smiles on people's faces. I had to have conversations with some people that I never thought I'd have conversations before. I signed some stuff that the kids that grow up, they get to see it, say they sort of met me in a way. One of the things uh, that the state has really dedicated to is maternal and infant care. And this building is going to improve both. So we're bringing our moms and our babies together for all the health services that they need. And we're going to be providing that in 109 NICU beds, which is an expansion from our 97. And our moms and babies are always gonna be right next to each other, no matter their issues. It's amazing to have the players you watch on TV come in and get back to the hospital and the community. It means a lot to you know my kids. My son was very excited to see him, and our family too, to show that the Pacers, you know, giving back to our community. The nurses do amazing artwork. You'll see it when you're up there. Footprints, handprints, name banners, you name it. You know, so the arts and crafts are great. But additionally, they're another family member. So even when they go home. These staff continue to be family members and friends to these families and watch these kids grow. And that's something that's a great opportunity for the job that we do. The family seeing this now, I just want them to, to stay strong in this process. I know it's hard, but it's a light in the tunnel that they'll make it.